Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, code your backdrop for the animated card. So right now I've got some code on my sprites. For instance, uh, this balloon, the blue one, when I click on it, it's going to hide and make a pop sound. So it makes it look like I pop it, just like that. But now I'm gonna add code to my backdrop. So to do that, I click over here. And now I've got some different blocks, some different choices. Some of them are gone. And I'm going to make it so that um, when I click on the actual stage, it does something. So there's a block to do that. And it's called when stage clicked. So when I click, I want it to play some kind of a sound. So I'm going to go to my sounds and I'm going to choose a sound. And let's go with um, some kind of an effect sound. Ah, let's go with the magic spell. So we'll go with that one. So that one sounds like a fun sound. So I'm gonna make it so that I'm going to start the sound, magic spell, whenever I click on the stage, like this, and I want it to repeat changing the way it looks. So I want it to change the color effect. So for instance, however, you hear how this sound lasts a lot longer than that, uh, took for it to appear. So I'm gonna say repeat this um, 15 times or for it to change rather maybe 25 yeah perfect okay so that makes it um so that the color effect will change for about as long as the actual sound does but when i press the green flag and we want to make sure that the stage resets back to normal so this time it did however sometimes it might not on a sprite so we can use the clear graphic effects and say when you press the green flag to return everything back to normal so that way if it changed colors when you press the green flag, everything goes back to normal on a sprite or even on a stage. So uh, you may have already added in some code for each one of your sprites, which I'm sure looks really cool. But what you want to do now is add in some code for your stage to make it do something so that when you click on it, it'll do something new. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.